morning. This is Mary with Mojo Designs. And today is Fabulous Friday. Forgive my voice. Um, I have not been feeling well and fighting some germs. But I did have something exciting and fun to share with you today. I'm going to be featuring some products from Sugar Creek Hollow. And I just wanted to give you a few tips when using digital images. And Sugar Creek Hollow has the best vintage flair uh, digital images out there, in my opinion. I have this adorable, uh, I want to say it's a Parisian dress, but I'll find out for sure and make sure that um, the correct name. Isn't this awesome? I mean, I just love this dress. So this is what we're going to use today. And I, as you can see, I used um, my 8.5 by 11 piece of cardstock. And I printed it out. I printed four to a page. I did two different sizes. And I want to do some paper piecing. And when you do that, before you can save your file or before you delete your file altogether, you want to make sure that you print off uh, onto some other paper. And that's what I did here. Um, and as you can see, because it's a newer printer to me, I didn't realize... Uh, you know which way to put my paper in. <laughs> so I did it twice. And you can see here there's some stuff that's overlapping, a little uh, hanger, but it's no big deal because that part's going to be cut off. This paper is uh, new to me. It's called Once Upon a Springtime Collection and it's a woodland fantasy and this is by Graphic 45. And I really, really love this paper packet. Um, it's like a throwback to me for uh, what is it? Beatrix Potter, Peter Rabbit, and all that, that era. So I really love it. And it's this really fun green and cream. So we're going to be paper piece piecing this today. And let's get started. So I have a piece of Smoky Shadow cardstock. And Normally, I would directly go for craft because I use craft for everything. But I love the drama that the cream, the smoky shadow, and this green color created. When you're paper piecing, it's really um, important to remember to cut outside the black line just a little bit. You don't want to cut on the inside of the black line. And I'm going to cut this out first, and then we're going to color our image before we apply it. So what I did here is I used some adhesive. I forgot to use my removable adhesive, but that's what you'd want to do to the back side of this paper, is you want to put removable adhesive on. Um, and I have just a regular piece of copy paper, and then run it through your printer so that your image is printing on your pattern paper. So we're going to get this all cut out. Just like that. And important too is get a sharp pair of scissors and make sure that you're moving your paper and not your scissors. And I always try to stay down in here in that little niche. It gives me more um, control. So I'm going to go ahead and get this all cut out. Alright, now that this is all cut out, I just cut out the bottom portion of the skirt. And what's really great is this copy paper is thin. I'm going to be saving this and I'm going to write um, on here, I'm just going to put skirt bottom. And I'm going to save this as a mask for future. So that's really great to, you know, keep all your scraps. Now, I didn't cut this portion out here, but I'm going to. I wanted to color in the bodice in this top part. And I think this little uh, sachet shoulder off the shoulder portion I want to have in the pattern paper. So I'm going to cut that out as well. All right. Now what I want to do is I'm going to use my cool grays. I have C1, C3, and C7. And I want to color the bodice. Because remember, we cut this portion out here and this portion out here. 
So I just want to color on this bottom portion. I'm going to first start out with my C1 and just do a quick laying down of some color. So I don't care if it's modely or anything like that. That Hello, my camera ran out of memory halfway through and I didn't catch it in enough time. This is our finished card. What I did was I took my C3, C1, and C7 cool gray Copic markers, colored the bodice, and colored this bottom portion. I also took R20, which is blush, and colored the hanger. I then took this At You Spicic Glitter Pen, it's clear, and I colored the coat hanger, the bodice, and this edging down here. Then I took some blush paper from the same Graphic 45 paper pack, and it really matches uh, the coat hanger there. And I just did a scallop, and I distressed it. I then used the stamp set. It's a signature series from Paper Tree Ink uh, by Raspberry Sweet by Don McVeigh, and it's the dress form. And it says, just a note. So I used that in a circle um, and distressed the circle with the antique linen and the vintage photo. So I do apologize that you didn't get to see me finish up uh, creating the card, uh, but you do see the finished product, and we were focusing on uh, paper piecing with digital images, and so that part was covered. Tomorrow I'm going to be doing another feature for Sugar Creek Hollow and another technique using digital stamps. But thank you for stopping by today, and I hope you have a fabulous Friday. Bye!